Welcome back to DS Trucks. So I got a request from a subscriber to review the heater that we installed in the garage. It is a Big Max heater from Mr. Heater. And I actually picked this heater up from Menards. Came in handy. So I was looking at these online and I was seeing these on different websites and everything. But the problem was the shipping on the unit this size was just way too much money. And turned out that Menards had these in stock so I just went up there and picked it up from there that way that way I wouldn't have to pick, pay for shipping so this is available online and it is available from Menards so for the install I'm going to actually get up, go up there so I can show you that I fabricated some aluminum brackets to hold the heater up uh, basically aluminum bar if you follow the channel then you know I'm always making stuff so I had extra aluminum bar laying around and I opted to use that because it's super easy to drill through you can use woodworking tools um, we did two bolts per rafter um, we pre-drilled our rafters and we used two so two per each one just like you can see here and on the back side, I believe there's a washer. It's hard for me to get back there, but there's going to be a washer and everything back there on the back side. So mounted at four points. Uh, we got our inch clearance uh, space from any combustibles uh, on all sides. And it's solid, guys. You could hang on this thing. It literally doesn't move at all because we hit it in all four locations with the aluminum bar. Super uh, happy with how that turned out. I use thread locker on all these. These are all grade eight. They don't need to be, but they it just so happen to be what I have laying around. But um, I actually put just a blue thread lock on all of the hardware so it wouldn't come loose uh, going forward. So that's how the securement is done. And uh, for the exhaust, we were actually able to exhaust uh, horizontally so this has a power exhaust so it allows you to push the air out and you don't have to go through the roof you can actually go through the wall as long as you have the right rise and everything it can go out the wall and that's what we're doing um, yeah so all that went good we had a HVAC guy come out that a guy that I know he came out and went over everything and made sure everything was good I <laughs> teed off the gas so that if I wanted another heater I could add one down the road but what I would want to add is like an infrared heater that way it'd be a little bit more efficient and this is sort of like the main uh, heater but it is oversized I'm only working with like 500 square feet I could have went with the smallest one if there's anything if anyone's looking at getting a heater just go with the smaller one for the smaller room size because they're only 80% efficient and basically at 80,000 BTUs I'm throwing away 20,000 BTUs of exhaust heat and only getting 60 so with the smaller unit um, it would run a lot more and a lot longer but it would use less gas and be cheaper to run at the end of the day that being said for me for me to um, open up open up my garage door from time to time and then have to get the entire room back up to temperature quickly well then it's good to have that extra BTU. So I think what I'm going to do is end up getting a infrared natural gas, infrared heater that can mount on the wall and then have that as more of a maintenance to keep the heat going at a much more efficient rate than 80%. Those run like 99% because they don't have exhaust, but they don't um, push enough heat out. And they can have some issues other because they're being that they're that they don't have exhaust, but nonetheless, more on the heater. So so far, how do I like the heater? It is pretty good. Um, it's relatively quiet. Uh, I will say, if I'm watching TV um, when it's running, you, the volume needs to be a little bit toward the higher side, being that that don't have an audio system. Another thing cool that I did is I put a smart thermostat on the heater so check this out alexa set my heat to 66. the heat set to 66. so that's cool with the smart heater i'm able to use voice command to set the heat 
and I'm also able to, uh, while I'm in the house, I'm able to um, get the heat turned on from in the house. So what I do is I turn it down to 45 at night, and at 45 degrees, it really protects all my batteries and stuff. Ignore that hole in the wall. <laughs> this shop is still a work in progress. But at 45 degrees, I'm protecting all my batteries and all that stuff. So it's nice to have a smart thermostat to be able to set the heat. And then you can hear how loud it is. You know, it's not terrible, but it's not the quietest ever. And maybe that would be another reason maybe to get the smaller heater and instead of the bigger one. Although I am happy with it being the size that it is, um, especially with my insulation not being up yet. I'm still working on some things in here, so that's why I haven't done the insulation yet. But with the insulation being the way it is, I pretty much just turn it on when I'm here, and then I turn it on. Uh, I turn it all the way down at night, it's down to 45 degrees, it's just protect all the sensitive stuff that I have in here, batteries and whatever's in here. I don't need to come out to frozen waters and stuff like that. So it definitely has increased the cost of uh, natural gas here at the house because I spend so much time in here. I've definitely just doubled my gas bill right now, just not being insulated. It's not that big a deal but it's definitely a lot more money. Um, but yeah, uh, all in all, there's nothing really bad that I can say about this heater. It works good, it's been, it's been pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, it'll last longer being oversized or if it'll shorten its life because it's oversized. But nonetheless, I've been happy with it and it hasn't missed a beat yet. Um, we, I did put a little couch in here. I picked this up also from Menards because I was seeing these when I was going there and I wasn't even planning on getting the couch I was honestly just planning on getting the uh, heater and uh, the TV as a monitor to do our lawn routes I can actually just wirelessly plug in this this computer just I hit a button and then pops up on the TV wirelessly um, and I can do our routes and stuff and we can have a little work meeting that's kind of what my intentions were but then throughout the winter just having this couch and it's just a super cheap couch that I can literally just scoot around so when it when needed I'm, I'll just move this out of the way and then look at that it came with the carpet too so with this little carpet to kind of make it more cozy I'm watching movies at night in here and the kids are loving it the kids are just playing like crazy in here so uh, definitely been happy with it the uh, install on this was pretty straightforward I uh, had someone help me with the gas line and stuff, but pretty straightforward. We did the cheapest way. We did the cheapest route, cheapest type of line and everything as far as gas lines and everything. But, yeah, no complaints, guys. It's a good heater so far, and I've been using it a ton. So, so far, it's been working out good. Hopefully, it lasts me a good number of years. Uh, also, with the garage, we did some lights. Um, I wired those up. So that worked out good. I just tapped into the ex existing electrical and I did those lights. But also, I, might, I also did one more thing I'll show you. Guys, why well, I got the camera here. So when you turn off the lights, um, if you see this extension cord, the reason is I put a little light strip back there. So when you come back here and you look, it's just a row of LEDs. And I picked these up on Amazon just a row of LEDs it's got a little remote and stuff but it just provides a little ambiance lighting and it just shines there so when I'm watching a movie at night it just shows up there and it helps me kind of see in the dark when I'm in here so um, I need to finish some more electrical type stuff in here but um, let me get to my ah I need to finish more electrical so basically this light strip that's what this is and i'm just powering this little light strip off of the extension cord right now but eventually i'm going to put an actual light socket in there and call it good so that way it don't hang and you don't see a cord but yeah that's pretty much it for the garage heater it has performed great there hasn't been any issues it leaves out of the side of the structure and it's just been just been good happy with it so anyway, my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. Quick review of the Mr. Heater, Big Max Heater. Uh, it was requested from a subscriber. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.